Hi, I'm Josh, and this is the Science Classroom. In this video, we're going to talk about how to write in scientific notation. Chemistry often deals with really small or really large numbers. These sorts of numbers are hard to write, and they have a lot of zeros. There has to be a better way, and, well, there is. It's called scientific notation. And basically, scientific notation is writing really big and really small numbers in a way so that we don't have to draw in all of those zeros. Here's the kind of homework question you would need to solve for your chemistry class. Sweden is a Scandinavian country in Northern Europe with a population of 10,350,000. Write the population of Sweden in scientific notation. It's currently written in standard notation. To convert to scientific notation, we will need to move the decimal place, it's here at the end even though it's not drawn in right now, so that there's only one digit to its left. The only rule to remember is that that one digit to the left of the decimal can't be zero. So I'm going to move it and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I will rewrite the number but not include all of those zeros at the end. 1.035. Now I need to indicate that I move the decimal. We do this with this notation, times 10, which is raised to the exponent that equals the number of times that I moved the decimal. I moved it seven times, so I write seven. So this is the population of Sweden in scientific notation. Try one more to make sure you got it, this time with a really small number. The width of a human hair can be as small as 0.000017 meters. Write this number in scientific notation. We'll use the same process, move the decimal so that there's only one non-zero digit to the left. One, two, three, four, five. We'll get rid of all of those zeros at the beginning and write the number 1.7 times 10 raised to the number of times you move the decimal. But this time we move the decimal the other way. When you move it to the right, we use a negative exponent. The way I like to remember this is that really small numbers are going to have a negative exponent. So this is the width of a human hair. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, please like it and subscribe to the channel.